You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. On CBC Online, visiting with uh, CBC Varsity football coach Scott Pingle, and then certainly the team has been the talk of the town. Talk about the season as you go into your final game at nine and zero. Yeah, we, we have had a pretty good year so far. Our, our uh, you know our games have been kind of exciting at times, and you know there've been some blowouts. But for the most part, our guys played at a level that we've expected, they've expected, and uh, you know it's all been really attributed to our towards our seniors. You know they did a nice job. As we talked in the summer, you said this was really a special group of seniors, and certainly that's the way it's played out. This group has really played played well, and they played together this year. Yeah, they definitely. You know, we had great senior leadership. We knew coming into the summer that uh, these guys would take ownership of the team. They knew they were a little disappointed where we ended last year, so they were really focused and really determined, and uh, done a nice job so far. And uh, hopefully, we can keep it going. Talk about your senior leaders. Maybe talk about your captains. They've really kind of stepped up. You know, certainly Dalton leading the area in passing, but a lot of quiet leadership from people like Lakel La- Bass and. Sean Holleran. Talk about some of the uh, the off headline stories that you're seeing with your team. Yeah, like Lakel, you know, he, he's definitely that. He's he's very quiet, but when he needs to say something, the kids listen. Sean does a nice job with the O line, getting them ready, getting them prepared. He makes sure we're on the right play every time. Uh, you know, you look at Darius. Darius is, Darius Carey is just kind of a internal motivator inside of our team. You know, he can say the right thing. He knows when to say the right thing. Uh, he also knows how to break the tension at times and, you know, get people laughing. So, you know, there's all attributes on each each one of those uh, captains that, that play a certain role. A lot of the players are certainly aware of, you know, the rankings, national, local rankings. How do you feel about the rankings and do you get too caught up into that? And, and, and how do you uh, kind of guard against getting too caught up in that with your teams? Um, you know, it's probably not the best thing to say, but I really stay away from the blogs. I stay away from the Internet. So, uh, you know, I, I really don't worry much about the rankings. I know the boys will read all that and, and hear all that, and other people will tell them how great they are. But we try to humble them each day and let them know that, hey, we're working for a common goal here. We're working for the, the CBC across our chest. So, you know, we're really not playing for ourselves. We're playing for a lot of other people. So, you know, we're in this for everyone. You're sitting here at 9-0, and and certainly everyone wants to talk about the 10-0, and the perfect season. How uh, important is it for you to get that uh, that undefeated season? I mean, you guys are really built towards that. Uh, what, what's your comment about that undefeated season and the possibility of it? Well, now I want it more than ever because we need this 10th win to, to get where we need to go. So, you know, before, you, you never really think about being undefeated. You think about literally the cliche of one game at a time. We played 10 individual games here, so we, we try to win each game, and luckily we've come out on the good end so far. But, uh, you know, 10-0 and was never our goal. Our goal is still in front of us, but now to get to our goal, we have to become 10-0, and so I'm excited about the opportunity. Certainly you, uh, yourself, and the team's got a lot of uh, headlines, a lot of press this year. How do you keep that stuff in check? I mean, you still have to play the football game, and now you kind of have targets on your back. Well, how, do you, how do you keep that in check? Well, I, th- I think, you know, each week you get, you get, your, you get checked. Uh, last week we got a big uh, humility check when we played Lafayette. They, they hit us in the mouth, and we didn't respond very well until the second quarter. And then our, our defense was hitting them in the mouth. So, you know, it's about a team. And right now we still haven't played all three phases of the game at a, at a high level. So we're really trying to focus on making sure that all three teams come ready to play each and every week. Now, a lot of talk about the playoffs and the seedings and the districts. And what have you, but really, that, that doesn't matter. It, it, the only game that matters is the Parkway South game right in front of you. Right. You're exactly right. I mean, it, it's nice to look about the future, but really the future is two days from now. we got to re- really focus on Parkway South. We mentioned the boys that, uh, you know, this could be your last practice if you don't come bring it every day. So we're really focused on the now and not worry so much about the future. And as you look back at the season and particular games or practices, have, have there been some moments that kind of stand out to you that has been just really uh, really special to you as a coach and as an educator? Uh, what are those moments? Well, I think week one, you know, there's big moments in that game. You've seen the excitement of the players never giving up, uh, fighting back. Stand, standing through. Uh, you see that you think about the the Smet Dome game, where the excitement there. You know, we fought through some adversity. Lakel led us through that. You think about the Francis Howe game, whenever uh, you know JP made some big plays on the sideline, made some good cuts. You know, I think that as coaches, you kind of find little things to work on each week, and uh, you know, still learn from. We learned a lot from last week, and we're learning a lot this week as we prepare for the future. And finally, uh, one group that really goes largely unnoticed during the season are the, are the parents of the players. Any message to the parents? Uh, you know, they're the ones getting them down there every week. The ones getting them ready to play. You know, talk about your parent core. I mean, they're loud and they're vocal up there in the stands. Oh, they, they are. Uh, you know, I, I think without great parents, you know, none of this would be possible. You know, we've had team meals, we've had team snacks, we've had 
parents volunteering with doing behind the scenes stuff that no one's even seen about we had people help with the media guide including yourself you know there's been so many people that's been doing great things for the program that I, I you know I'm gonna fail to mention them all but you know we're truly grateful and truly appreciative for their their, their work good stuff again CBC online Scott Pingle we will see you next time CBC men for tomorrow brothers for life